Big World War II update arrived last night, so let's just jump into it. DLC 4 has come out for PS4, maybe you saw that trailer, but I'm more interested in analyzing the new division and basic trainings. The division being Commando, one of the names that was leaked ages ago, and in my opinion, it is very good. This is the only division I'll be running from now on. Commando Tier 1 replaces your tactical with a personal paratrooper insert, which is exactly what it sounds like, a tactical insertion to control the location of your respawn, except you can only place it with clear sky above you because you have to actually drop into the map, borrowing from that intro mechanic in Operation Supercharge. So you are vulnerable doing that, but you also get a huge view of the map and can shoot down on people. Paired with Lookout, you'll see everybody's names. You could run a sniper or a launcher to be a major asshole with this. If you have a close range weapon, you won't have a great time dropping in. Either way, very interesting to see that mechanic brought to regular multiplayer as attack insert. At this point in the life cycle, it seems like they figure, screw it, let's go crazy. It deploys really quickly too, so if you're about to die, you can just drop it and float in right on top of whoever killed you. If they didn't notice you dropped the insert, it's free revenge for you. Not sure I like the fact that we have to be looking at the sky all the time now. Like, you're getting shot from somewhere, what the hell's going on? Oh, it's some asshole in the sky that I never could have seen coming. Okay then. At tier 2, you regenerate health faster. In a little fall damage test here, first as a baseline, infantry division, it seemed like the healing began after 4 seconds of waiting, and the healing itself took another 2.5 seconds to complete. Of course, the amount of time you're actually healing depends on how much damage you take, because the healing rate is constant, but that's a rough estimate to give you an idea. With the faster healing of Commando, it seemed like the healing began after 3 seconds, and the healing part took only another 0.6 seconds. You are back in the action quick, so the healing part was about four times faster, although if you factor in the initial wait as well, basically the healing went from taking 6.5 seconds to 3.6. Still, that's almost twice as fast. The faster healing is very noticeable. And on top of that, the second perk is that upon killing an enemy, you immediately begin to regenerate. My god, almost every gunfight ends with a kill or a death and you get the same quick healing rate. You can get damaged mid-heal and that will stop it. It isn't quite instant, so if you're getting shot by two people, it isn't like killing one will insta-save your life. But damn, dude, that's crazy fast. I wouldn't be surprised if they toned that down. You're basically back in the fight in half a second instead of six and a half. More than ten times faster. What in the hell? Kind of like Black Ops 4 healing right after a gunfight, but it's way faster and you don't need to press anything and there's no recharge. So I'd say that's a pretty good ability. At tier 3, multi-kills and headshots grant additional score as well as ammo. So that's an interesting way to go on longer streaks without needing to run forage or any of the other ways to have extra ammo. And I'll never complain about extra score. It looks like I got plus 25 for a headshot, 25 for a double kill, 30 for a triple kill, 35 for a quad kill, 40 for a penta kill, or a quint kill as they say. Uh, they went Latin over Greek apparently, gotta say it doesn't roll off the tongue. But uh, you can see the pattern there, it goes up by 5 every time, and you do get every bonus. If you get a quad kill, you don't just get 35, you get 25 plus 30 plus 35. So that's a very nice bonus towards streaks and XP. And finally, at tier 4, you can equip two basic trainings at the same time. A long requested ability, and very powerful to be able to throw something like Hunker or Lookout on top of what you already have. Specialist was a fun addition, but now you can have two trainings all the time. Maybe you have some ideas of how you want to use that. You can create some combinations that you couldn't make before with Specialist. However, there are some very similar rules that govern what training you can add as your second. You can choose from all 28 trainings for your first basic training, although if you choose Specialist you can't pick a second training, so that's a way but then as your second training you can only pick from the 16 trainings listed here the same 16 that you can pick with specialist so if I subtract this list from the full list this is the list of trainings that you cannot use two of at the same time you can only use one of these trainings and you need to select it in the first slot that means you cannot use shifty with duelist for example and thank god you can breathe a, that sigh of relief you cannot pair requisitions with Blitzkrieg or Ordinance. You can only use one of those. So some fair restrictions I think. 
Anyway, I can tell you how I personally plan to use it, because shipment is what I play almost all the time to be grinding out those guns and XP, most of my classes have Armored and Blitzkrieg, because I need the explosive resistance to keep my sanity, and I love using Blitzkrieg because the streaks are not only more fun, they also give you the full amount of score for kills with the streaks. That's a lesser known benefit of Blitzkrieg that I've mentioned before. Because score doesn't go to earn your next kill streak, you can get the full 75 score for kills in Dom, or 100 score in TDM as a couple examples, instead of the usual 25 for kill streak kills, and score does translate to XP in the end. So it's like triple or quad XP for kill streak kills, and the streaks are more powerful. Tons of fun. But now I can ditch Armored and run Blitzkrieg plus Hunker with Commando. Yeah, the other benefits of Armored are good, the fire and the flinch and all that, but it'll be great to have that fast healing and the healing after getting a kill. Shipment is so compact and fast, that's a perfect perk to have. And more score for getting multi-kills? Yes please, basically every kill you get on shipment is part of a multi-kill. So aside from that paratrooper insert, which I don't plan on using a whole lot for shipment, I think this will be a great shipment division with hunker plus whatever else you want, maybe something like escalation or hustle. I will admit I'm a blitzkrieg addict, I don't think you need it by any means, especially with the extra score from the multi-kills that would make earning regular score streaks easier, so maybe you don't even want it. But that's the lowdown on commando, I think it's a very good division. There is no event yet, so there isn't a new wave of weapons, but there is one new weapon, being what you get for prestiging the Commando Division, the AS-44 Rifle. You've seen me using it against bots, which I know makes it look better than it is, but I still think it's very, very good. They describe it as high power, high recoil, but the recoil is mostly vertical, like practically everything in this game. I found it to be very easy to control. I know not getting shot at helps, but this thing was melting people. Anyway, I'm not the gun stat guy, not gonna go into great detail on the weapon here and now, but it seemed very powerful. Finally, we also have two new basic trainings. There's Catalyst, which gives you a special serum that can be used in battle to increase weapon handling for a short time, stuff like aiming and reloading, and the serum regenerates over time. Apparently, they do want to become Black Ops 4. Interesting training, but very situational and not that helpful compared to other basic trainings. Not gonna be my favorite. And there's also the very straightforward remedy training, which just gives you a faster health regen, and it looks like it behaves the same as what is available in Commando with the 3 second wait and around half a second heal time. Obviously they don't stack in any way, they conflict with each other if you try to use both. But alright, you can get that ability without running the division, a pretty darn powerful training if you like to rush around, but not nearly as crazy as the healing right after killing an enemy, and that only comes with Commando. Oh yeah, and by the way, they didn't fix the challenge typo. Alright, well, interesting update. I don't know what to think overall. I guess it's fair if everyone's using it, which I'm sure everyone will be. It comes at a time that I'm not taking the game very seriously anymore, so I don't really care. It'll be fun to mess around with. Uh, I guess now I'll go back to slowly releasing those World War II campaign videos leading up to Blackout, stretching that out as much as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.